probably tell from the state of my hair, we are definitely going to be dealing with this today. So very exciting news, your girl is prepping her hair for a protective style. It has literally been at least two years, I think, since I've gotten a protective style. If you've been rocking with me, you would have seen the last time I went and got box braids for the first time ever. And I absolutely hated it. Love the way it looked, but my scalp was on fire from the minute that they did it to the minute I took it out, my scalp was on fire. It was itchy, it was uncomfortable, it was also heavy, and I got the really, really small box braids, so it was just a lot, and I was really overwhelmed. So I was a little bit scarred, and I would say that's the reason why I haven't really done a protective style since, but lately I've been feeling the itch. I want a little switch up. I want a break, honestly. And so yeah, I'm really excited. A lot of people have mentioned that knotless braids are a lot more comfortable to wear as well, so I am going for a large knotless. So yeah, in this video, I am gonna be prepping my hair and scalp specifically for the braids. I want to ensure a smooth, comfortable experience this time, so we're really gonna focus a lot on scalp today, do a nice detox and all that, and then it's also going to include me blow drying my hair for the first time ever. Yeah, we're gonna get into it, I'm nervous, but we're gonna do it in the most safe and healthy way possible for these curls. So yeah, that's basically what we gonna get into. And just make sure you watch all the way until the end if you wanna see how my braids turn out. Do I like them? How do they feel? And I'll probably continue to film the entire process as we go along. Anyways, let me stop talking so we can go ahead and get started because this needs to be dealt with. Let's go. All right, so today the main focus is making sure my scalp and my hair get a really, really good detox and then a really nice moisturizing treatment. I want to strip any buildup, completely get rid of all of that stuff because if you go in into protective styles with buildup on your scalp, it, that's what's gonna cause like itchiness and stuff. So I'm really trying to make sure that my scalp is not gonna have any issues this time around. So we're gonna detox and then we're also going to slap back some moisture in there. So we're going in with a super freshly clean scalp and freshly like hydrated curls. Well, not really curls, because they're about to be blow dried. But anyways, so for my scalp, I decided to go in with the Curlsmith Detox System. They have a three product system, step one, two, and three. It is amazing. So I'm just going in with the primer first. This is what's gonna protect your hair and your scalp before moving on to step two, which is the wash and scrub detox probiotic. So this is the hardcore stuff. This is where the detox is actually happening. So I'm really making sure to focus on the step, making sure that this product is getting everywhere and giving my scalp a really, really great scrub. As you can also see that I'm working in sections. So I'm actually not only going to apply products in sections, but I'm gonna be rinsing out in sections as well. I just wanna make sure we are getting every single inch of this scalp. So I'm being kind of anal about this. Scalp is feeling super clean like I literally went in so it's feeling really good it's just it's just but those products were mostly scalp intensive I do also want to give my hair a really good cleanse as well so I'm gonna go in with a DP hue apple cider vinegar hair rinse I've actually never used this before we all know apple cider vinegar is the OG of getting like a really nice cleanse for your hair and just kind of it helps to like balance the pH of your hair as well so I'm really excited to give this a try today I think Maybe we'll section in halves. Yeah, I definitely don't need to go in with as many sections as we did for the scalp cleanse. So I am just going to just take my hair and just literally squeeze this up in there. And that's it, ooh. And this is like, you can smell the apple cider vinegar, y'all. Woo! Wow! Y'all, look at this lather too, though. Wow! I'm liking how this feels. I hope this leaves my hair feeling amazing. So I'm just gonna kinda rub it and squeeze all of the buildup down. Ooh, did I just miss my entire thing? I mean, this lather, oh, this is gonna give us one deep clean. Wow, 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 all right. 
Let's go ahead and rinse this out. Oh, okay, hold on, wait a minute. Do y'all see this curl definition happening right now? I feel like this is one of those things when you give your hair a really good detox, a really good rinse, it gets a chance to get out all of the buildup. Even the buildup that you don't even feel like is there. And then boom, your curls are like popping and happy again. This is before any moisture treatment or anything like. My curls are already popping. They are singing. Look, look, look. Look at this definition. That apple cider vinegar rinse is going to become a little bit of a staple. I think maybe on a monthly basis. So on to mask now. We've detoxed our scalp because we don't want any buildup, but we also don't want any dry scalp either. So it's kind of like trying to find that middle balance in between the two. So masks are very, very important. So the third step of this Curlsmith scalp recipe detox thing is a probiotics calming conditioner. So what I'm gonna do is kinda just rub this into my scalp a little bit, just a little bit. I'm just gonna go in just, just a little bit of this just to make sure that my scalp's gonna be okay. It's basically supposed to restore the microbiome, refresh, soothe, and hydrate. That's what it says on the bottle. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this and just focus this mostly on my scalp. And then for the lengths of my hair, we are gonna go in with this. I love this so much. Also from Curlsmith, this is a part of their scalp recipe. So it's called the Hydro Cream Soothing Mask. It's actually so good and it's meant for your scalp and the length of your hair. But today, since I am using the other common conditioner for my scalp, I'm mostly just gonna focus this on the lengths. And I'm just basically using this mm, to add back some moisture into the curls. It also smells amazing so i'm very like i just i love this you guys can see i mean i have been using it she's also very thick it's packed with moisture it's the bomb.com another reason why i really like this specifically is because it's a scalp recipe product so i actually noticed that some heavy like deep treatments specifically for moisture can sometimes leave you with a little bit of buildup on your scalp even though you don't put it on your scalp and kind of get on your scalp a little bit but this mask does not do that it's literally engineered to not leave any buildup so you're literally getting all the moisture minus the buildup which is exactly what i need today back my hair has deep conditioned I rinsed it out and so it's just been up in there drying on its own and this is what we're working with right now I literally haven't put anything in it and I rinsed out all of the deep conditioner normally when I'm deep conditioning I will leave a little bit of it in when I'm keeping my hair curly but today I decided to rinse all of it out so this is Fully naked hair, y'all. Fully naked. It's still pretty damp. Um, whew, I am a little bit nervous. This is, as you guys know, my first time blow drying my hair. So I just spent the longest time going through all of my products trying to figure out what I should use in order to make sure I'm protecting my hair and also giving it the moisture that it's going to need. So here is what I decided on. So first... I am gonna go in with the Curlsmith Hold Me Softly Balm. I love their ingredients. This offers really amazing moisture for your curls. Then I actually found this product. This is from Heritage. And this is the Play It Cool Heat Protectant Spray. It's sulfate free, flotate free, paraben free, silicone free, gluten free, mineral oil free, color safe, cruelty free, and vegan. So I was like, wow, okay, this seems like it's got all the good stuff in there that we need. So I'm gonna use this to protect my hair from the heat. On the back, it literally says, that it shields against the use of heat styling tools up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. And then I think I might finish off with this TPH by Taraji Keep Shining. It's like a dry oil mist. I actually really, really love this. Y'all know I'm not usually a fan of oils, but when it's like a mist, a spray, something super extra lightweight, then I'm usually okay with that. And this one I actually really, really like. So <laughs> it is time. It's time to get into this. Let's do this. Another thing that actually helps me feel a little bit more comfortable about blow drying my hair and avoiding heat damage is the fact that I have a Dyson. I really trust this bad boy right here. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and take the diffuser head off. And I'm going to go put on this one so we can really blow dry that. I do feel very, very comfortable using this specifically as opposed to like some cheap blow dryer that's just going to fry my hair. This is actually heat controlled. And yeah, I'm rambling because I'm nervous. <laughs> Okay, let me let me go ahead and section out my hair. So I've actually never blow dried my hair like this, y'all. Never. Not even when my hair was relaxed. I used to go to the hairdresser for that. So this should be very interesting. Oh my gosh, I'm excited to see my hair stretched. <laughs> That's the fun part. Um, okay, so I'm going in with my Curlsmith Hold Me Softly Balm. I do not want to go crazy with the cream, so I'm just going in with a little bit. I'm mostly going to focus this on my ends. My ends tend to be where I get the most dry. Now I'm just going to go in with a little bit of this heat protectant spray. I don't want to go too crazy because I don't want this to be wet. I want it to be damp so I don't have to blow dry it as much, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? So... And then I am going to take this detangler brush. This is the Felicia Leatherwood brush, bomb.com. Let me actually clip this up so this can kind of stay out of the way. I think we are prepped and ready to go. I don't even know how to handle like the, the dryer and the brush at the same time. Like how do you do that? Anyways, we're about to figure it out. Let's go! Oh my gosh. Okay, so when I'm diffusing, I usually do the lowest heat setting and the lowest blow setting. I think I'm going to leave it on the lowest heat setting, but might put it up to number two. There's like three notches for the airflow. I think I'm going to do number two, so we're not here all night. We're going to do this now. sticky maybe I don't need any hold me softly bomb it feels a little sticky look at this you guys she got length holy crap this is kind of fun not me enjoying straight hair we love a good switch up switch ups are, are necessary every once in a while right <sighs> let's just keep on keeping on. I'm actually gonna, for this one, I'm gonna test, I'm gonna test not using this. I'm just gonna use this because I feel like this is moisture as well. It conditions and hydrates while protecting against heat. Literally says that on the bottle. So I am gonna try to do without this to see if there's less stickiness, but to also see if my hair still feels like really nice and moisturized because that's important to me. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> yep, yeah, this side feels a lot better. Still moisturized, but not sticky. So, we are going to not use the Hold Me Softly Balm going forward. I'm just going to use this spray, and that's it. The thing that I love is that... I don't have to have it on the hottest heat setting. I actually have it on the lowest and it's not like it's taking forever to dry or anything like that. Like it's getting the job done. <sighs> Still shook. And yeah. Oh, uh, he's calling. What's going? B, what the heck did you do to your ear? <laughs> my curls. Bring them back. I don't think y'all understand this moment. <laughs> I did not have a YouTube channel when I had straight hair, so it feels like, I don't know, like this is the first, the actual first time you guys seeing me on video with straight hair. Like that's crazy. It's a whole moment. And <laughs> I have a lot of hair. Oh. 
I'm actually shook by <laughs> let me back up let me back up so y'all can see all of this hair wow this is wow <laughs> you know what I have to say like as you guys saw in my last to like my previous video that I was mentioning how I'm no longer following the curly girl method and I think like when I first started going natural I was so like oh my gosh oh my gosh I gotta do everything I can I was just so nervous to have damaged curls and now like three years three plus years later you know, I'm finally being able to enjoy the versatility in a safe way. You know, I don't want to ruin my curls. I don't want to damage my curls. Healthy curls is still the number one most important thing to me ever. But you don't have to be like so super strict like how I was. Um, so this for me is like, you know, me being able to enjoy the versatility of my natural hair. And it's very exciting. It's very, very exciting. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of oil. I'm just gonna spray it in my hands. And then I'm just gonna kinda just add it to my ends. Just so, you know, they have a little bit of shine. And, you know, we can lock in the moisture in my ends. This is like a whole new list. Oh, wait until she braids me up. Mm, it's over. That's basically going to be it for prep. My appointment to get my hair braided is first thing tomorrow morning. So I'll definitely keep you guys updated, let you know how my scalp feels, and show you the final results of my braids. Do just what you want. Let's go. You're the one I trust. I mean, you guys, I'm really, I'm really feeling myself. I feel like so super cute, put together. And guess what? I'm very, very happy to report that my scalp feels perfectly fine. So, not listed the trick, y'all. I think also because they are bigger, these were called jumbo. I know some hairstylists, sometimes jumbo is like a lot bigger than this, but in Danny's case, this is size jumbo. Okay, and I'm loving it. I honestly, it feels very, very comfortable. I went with 1B braiding hair, so you can kind of, if you look up close, you can see a little ombre natural hair showing through a little bit, but I kind of wanted a little switch up with some dark, and I just think that this is phenomenal. I'm just so, so happy that my scalp feels good. Immediately, like immediately after I got box braids like years back, I was kind of like, ooh, just a little stiff. I was like, oh, when is this gonna feel comfy? I don't feel like that with these. Like I feel like I can whip my hair back and forth and I don't have to worry. Like I'm, I'm, I'm comfy and I'm cute. So let me, let me back up and show y'all the length. I ended up going with waist. I'm loving it. This is a whole vibe. So I don't know. We might have created a little bit of a knotless braids monster because I'm feeling good. So hairstylist deets. I went to a girl named Dani. She is so dope. I mean, not only is she clearly talented, these parts are crisp. Okay. But also she is just cool people. It's like we chatted the whole time, just good vibes. And I just, I had a really, really good time. A great experience overall. My scalp is amazing. I am hype. So 12 out of 10 recommend Dani. I just love her to pieces. She did an amazing job. So if you are in the Atlanta area, I've included her Instagram deets below. So you can go ahead and check her out. Okay. So yeah, guys, that is basically going to be it for this video. I'm going to continue to film with my braids to show you how I maintain them. If my scalp gets itchy in like a week or two, what I'm going to do to help that, like I'm going to film the entire thing as well as also like reverting my curls back once we're done with the protective style. So stay tuned for those. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Okay. I'm so excited to take you guys along this little mini <laughs> protective style journey. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Bye. Woo! <laughs>